8 Scientific Facts Explaining Why You Could See a Ghost All scientists in the world think that there are no ghosts in nature. Nevertheless, people continue to see people from the other world, or at least they affirm it with absolute certainty. Here are some answers to why such meetings happen. 1. Impact of Infrasound Human ears have a range of sensitivity. We cannot hear sounds above 20, 000, 000 hertz, ultrasound, and below 20 hertz, infrasound. But these fluctuations still do not remain completely invisible to our body. Experts from the National Physical Laboratory in England and the University of Hertfordshire found that infrasound causes strange feelings in people, intense sadness, anxiety and frustration, chills and the feeling that someone is in the room and is watching them. The tested volunteers complained of disgust, fear and anxiety. Not surprisingly, infrasound in the range of 18.9 Hz just below the threshold of human hearing is referred to by some researchers as the frequency of fear. Such vibrations can affect not only hearing, but also vision, because the human eyeballs resonate at about the same frequency. So spots before the eyes and other optical illusions are added to the feeling of anxiety. Various appliances can generate infrasound in a house, such as exhaust fans, musical instruments, or trains passing by. So ghosts will not necessarily visit only residents of remote quiet villages, rather, they will prefer owners of houses near busy freeways. 2. Ideomotor Phenomenon Chances are you've heard of Widge Board. This is a seance tool, a piece of wood with letters and the words yes and no painted on it. The principle of use is as follows, a group of people, putting their hands on the planchette, drive it along the board. It is believed that if you call on some restless spirit and ask him a question, he will answer by shifting the pointer to the desired letters. Legend has it that the toy's name came about when, in 1891, inventor Elijah Bond asked the blackboard what to name it. The answer was Ouija. This phenomenon has been studied by scientists for more than 100 years, and the reason for the talkativeness of ghosts moving into a piece of wood has long been determined. Numerous studies have repeatedly shown that the pointer was involuntarily moved by the subjects themselves. Participants in a seance, touching the tablet, unconsciously perform the so-called ideomotor act, when mental stress causes a real muscle contraction. This is the Carpenter effect, which is named after the physician and physiologist who discovered it in 1852. That is, if spirit summoners believe that the ghost must answer the question yes, no, or even I am Napoleon, nerve impulses in their bodies will lead to unconscious movements pushing the planchette to the correct letters. Naturally, in the experiments, the alleged ghosts were able to speak only on topics that were familiar to the subjects. 3. Phosphine Chemiluminescence Imagine, you got out into nature, you walk through a rural swampy area, you don't touch anyone. We cast a glance into the dark forest and there is a gloomy otherworldly glow. What's this? Is it possible that the ghostly physiognomy of a mushroom picker who disappeared there a few years ago leaned out of the thickets? No, you just encountered the so-called will-o'-the-wisp. This phenomenon is often found in swamps. When organic matter, particularly leaf litter and aquatic plants, breaks down, it releases a chemical compound called phosphine. Combining with oxygen and nitrogen in the air, it oxidizes and creates a ghostly, mystical glow. So the swamp ghosts and lost souls that tourists and outdoor enthusiasts talk about are not newcomers from the other world, but the result of phosphine chemiluminescence. 4. Mycotoxin Poisoning as you know, especially often ghosts are found in all sorts of gloomy abandoned mansions. The phrase haunted house has long been established in many languages. And such a love of the undead for uninhabited premises is quite understandable from a scientific point of view. Experts from the Independent Neurodiagnostic Clinic in Atlanta found that spores of various types of fungi and mold that live in the humid environment of abandoned buildings can lead to neurological and neuropsychiatric disorders when inhaled. Mycotoxins cause pain, impaired motor function, balance and coordination, a sense of irrational fear, delirium, and even dementia. Add to this the banal aspergillosis infection of the lungs with fungal spores. The disease is accompanied by symptoms such as allergies, asthma, cough, and fever. Conclusions? If your home has begun to be haunted, it's time to start reading guide to getting rid of mold. 5. Inhalation of Carbon Monoxide Various mental problems, such as hallucinations and voices in people's heads, are caused not only by fungal spores, but also by other toxic substances, such as carbon monoxide released during combustion. You may have heard that spiritualism was very popular in England and America in the 19th century. Well, that is, belief in the afterlife and the possibility of talking with spirits through mediums. Many celebrities were staunch supporters of spiritualism, for example, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the author of stories about Sherlock Holmes. 
A number of researchers associate such a fascination with ghosts with the total gasification of cities in that period, the Industrial Revolution, after all. The lanterns produced a lot of carbon monoxide when burned. Combined with the then fashionable heavy curtains and the common practice of locking windows tighter, this led to constant carbon monoxide poisoning. Ever since the 1920s, paranormal researchers have noted a connection between the gasification of the house with the presence of ghosts there. Carbon monoxide poisoning causes visual and auditory hallucinations, nausea, weakness, and headaches. And superstitious people easily mistake this for the activity of demons and other otherworldly entities. In the American Journal of Ophthalmology in 1921, for example, a case is described of how one woman constantly heard footsteps and strange voices, and also experienced the feeling that an invisible person was strangling her in bed at night. But as soon as her oven was repaired, which turned out to be faulty, the ghosts took over and self-destructed. 6. Periidolia Periidolia is a visual illusion that makes you see the outlines of familiar objects where there are none. Look at the cloud and understand that it looks like a unicorn. We looked at the potato, wow, that's your uncle's face. Faced at night with a blanket lying on a chair, the ghost of a creepy old woman wrapped in a shroud. It is believed that periidolia developed in humans as a result of evolution. The brain warns us of danger even when it is not exactly sure of its presence. It seemed just in case, scared. As they say, it is better to see a tiger where there is none. Periidolia is not only visual, but also auditory when we distinguish familiar sounds and random noise. Therefore, people sometimes hear voices in radio interference. This is a useful quality of our mind that allows us to quickly find sources of danger in a hodgepodge of visual images and noise. But because of him, we often see what is not really there. For example, ghosts. 7. Sleep Paralysis Many peoples of the world have stories about ghosts, brownies, vampires, succubi, maras, and other evil spirits that come to a person in a dream and strangle them. You lie down, do not touch anyone, and then you feel how something terrible materializes in your bedroom, pulls off the blanket from you, and begins to grab your throat. And you can't even move, except that you drive your eyes back and forth. Unpleasant sensations. Scientists believe that the rampage of night ghosts is associated with a phenomenon called sleep paralysis. The fact is that our body in a dream immobilizes the muscles so that the limbs do not twitch much. This is a natural mechanism. Useful to keep from falling out of bed at night, you know. Sometimes the brain wakes up at night, and the muscles are still relaxed and do not respond to commands from the nervous system. Approximately 7.6% of people in the world have experienced this condition at least once in their lives. It quickly passes, although subjectively it seems to people that the nightmare lasts a long time. Sleep paralysis is completely safe, but it can be frightening, especially when accompanied by nightmares. Because of him, images of terrible spirits are born that attack people at night. 8. The Stranger in the Mirror Effect Many people believe that mirrors are the door to the other world. In a house where someone has died, they are covered with a sheet so that the ghost of the deceased does not reflect in them. In the old days, girls were guessing in front of mirrors, trying to see the outlines of their future lover there. The ghost of Bloody Mary, for example, was supposed to be called in a dark room with a mirror and a candle. However, all this is also quite understandable from a scientific point of view. Psychiatrists know that sometimes people with mental disorders have problems with the so-called mirror identity. Patients with right hemisphere dysfunction resulting from traumatic brain injury, stroke, or other neurological disease sometimes lose the ability to recognize themselves in the reflection. And they see their relatives, sometimes deceased, or strangers. But a similar effect is regularly observed in absolutely healthy people. Researchers at the University of Urbino in Italy conducted a series of tests in which volunteers looked in a mirror in dim light for more than 10 minutes. The subjects began to see in the reflection of strangers their own deformed faces or living or dead parents. The participants of the experiment also distinguished archetypal images, an old woman, a child, or a portrait of an ancestor, as well as animal faces. For example, cats, pigs, or a lion. They even imagined various fantastic creatures and monsters. All these images inspired fear and anxiety. This phenomenon is called the stranger in the mirror effect. When a person focuses too long on his own physiognomy in the mirror, the brain gives a slight glitch and four. Thanks for watching to the end. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on notifications to catch all new videos.